Hey everybody, run to Street for Two to film some more Vindictus gameplay. We're gonna continue our quest here with the Fomorian invasion. We're gonna talk to Ellis. Gwen Riodan sent you a letter. Did he? Give it here. Gwen takes a letter from Ellis. As she reads it, a flicker of embarrassment crosses her face. Hmm. According to this letter, a document stolen from Favello Perry has ended up in the frozen caverns. The Royal Army has received an official order to look into this matter. I want the Crimson Blades investigated further. Why don't you go search the area on your own? You're almost done investigating the ruins, aren't you? Do your own dirty work for once. We will investigate the caverns for you, Glenn. Captain, we've been hired by the Royal Army, Merrick. If they require our services, if they require our services, we will perform them. Thanks for your understanding. My commanders, my commanders have asked that we all investigate the area. The Fomorian emblem has caused quite a stir in the capital, so myself and my people will be staying in the Kohen for a while. Psh, I want you. I want you to investigate Horfrost Hollow. I'll be waiting for your report. I'll be watching. Yeah. 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 So you'll hear me uh, hear me constantly read some things incorrectly. It may or may not happen. I don't know why. I just tend to go straight to the action of this game. Um, the story is good, but uh, I'm used to reading it in my head and not out loud, so it's a little bit strange. So we're going to do uh, the rest of the story here. We do have a daily, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to go through everything here. So this is a new zone, Horfrost Hollow, an ice area. Your second, your second area after the prairie. A little spikes up there, a little trap. There's a liver, liver, lever and a piece of meat. So here we go. Let's give it a shot. Let's go through all these enemies. Seeing that guy soon. That's just a little teaser of this area. Here's a lever we saw. With some uh, enemies in it's a trap there with meat. We could easily just rush rush through this, but I wanted to show you a little something really funny about this. They're under the spikes, right? Yeah, that guy knew it. So if that thing were to follow me, it would probably kill us. We're not going to worry about that. Not bad at all. That's 
that, I think it's going to be great. What did you find? You describe everything you describe everything you saw. Kobolds. A bear with red eyes? I've heard Christy talk about that bear. Christy? The huntress who runs the traveler shop? Yes, I remember her being pretty fiery about the whole thing. Though, there was a lot of cursing. What does she bear? What does that bear have to do with the kobolds? I suppose it couldn't hurt to find out what she knows. Hey, you've met Christy, right? She's... Why, is your nose so red? Oh, dang it. I did forget to teach you how to make a campfire. You must be frozen solid. Make sure to carry this campfire kit with you when you go anywhere cold. Once you get warmed up, go talk to Christy. We'll be waiting. That's it. And you get yourself some cool winter gloves. Alright. The red-eyed bear? You saw it? I faced that foul creature twice. On the, on, our f on the first meeting, I was weaponized and forced to flee. See, I can't even read this right. I was weaponless and was forced to flee. And forced to flee. On our second meeting, the beast's luck had not run out. My weapon broke upon its jaw, and I had to retreat again. A cold glint enters Christie's eyes. The next time we met will be our, the last. You tell her about the kobolds you saw in Horfrost Hollow? I can't say I'd like to meet the kobolds that chose to stay with the beast. He's a territory. He's as territorial as they come. Maybe you'll get better. Maybe you'd better go back and see what you, you can find. But be quiet. But be quiet. You'd best... See, why did I get these words? <laughs> you'd be wise not to rile that monster. There are two ways in. You could take the frozen western ice passage and risk losing your limbs to the bear attacks. Or, you can take the smart way and scale the southern rock cliff. Save your reports for the blades. I've got work to do. I don't know why. I just get, I just spew out words. <laughs> that make it sound interesting, but it's not what's being written. So, personal issues. Anyways. Let's get going. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that drop, to be honest with you. While you're playing the game, you're leveling up. A lot of the items that drop early in the levels, they don't really apply that much at all anymore. Back then they did. Because the level cap is so high, the game really helps you get through the levels and it gives you like boosts. So there's really no point in getting the stuff. You can always just sell them. So we really have a mini boss. That mini boss was a part of the bonus mission, which is here. Defeat Speedy Ekelech. He's done. He tends to run away if you don't kill him quick enough. Luckily, I was right on him, so I was able to get him out. Get a knockout. These mobs are killing me. Let's move forward. Spiders. One was left alive, but that's fine. You hear it crawling. So here the boss should spawn. Pretty familiar.
down on the left. This guy on the Right here. <laughs> Next story. Hey, hey, my friend. Are there cold wars of Morpheus Apollo? If so, then one must have a sling... a ding. A slingshot, no? Slinger dinger. Bring me, bring me that slingshot. Don't ask how I know. It's my special... it's my special secret. Okay. We're gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna be releasing these videos daily now for the week of Christmas. as a little gift for you guys. We're done for now. Um, next one, next episode will be Western Ice Passage. Hopefully two missions per video to keep it a decent length. But do follow me on my social media sites, uh, Twitter and uh, Twitch. They're down in the description below. Uh, for Twitch, I stream on the weekends, uh, mornings and evenings. The schedule is down there. And on Twitter is something, it's a place you have to follow me if you want to know when I actually go live because I always announce it there first before going live on Twitch. Um, if I don't announce anything at all, it means I'm probably not streaming on Twitch, and I will usually send out a tweet stating that I'm not streaming. But do follow me there. It's my main source of contact. Um, so you can also watch me on Twitch. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Runners 2 for 2 and I'll catch you on the next video. Merry Christmas.